Okay, for this project, you're going to need three pieces of scrap wood. I have one by fours cut to about 15 inches long. And the first thing you want to do is just give them a coat of paint, whatever color you want. I like black. This is like a kind of a grayish black. It's like my new favorite color. So uh, I'm going to give this last piece a coat of paint and let that dry. And then we'll add the arrows onto okay, it. Okay, I've gone ahead and drawn out my arrow. I have three different ones there that I want. I need to take my piece of wood. Before that, in order to transfer, I'm going to flip over the arrow. And you see I scribbled all over the back of that to get to help me transfer. Then I'm going to put the design on top of the wood. Just center it on there. And then I will trace the lines real carefully. And that will transfer to the other side. Can you see that? It might be too much of a glare. Anyways, I'll show you when it's a little better. A little better angle once I get it done a little more. Okay, so I have my first design transfer. You can see it a little better at this angle. So you can see the lines. And then I'll just take my paint and fill and cover the lines and paint in how I want it painted. Pretty easy. So then I'll do the same thing with my other two over there with these two designs. Pretty simple. Once I have my arrow all painted, I like to take some fine grit sandpaper. I just take a little cube of it. And I'm going to go over it to distress it a little bit. Because like in any, this probably makes a horrible noise. In any of my projects, I always like to have it distressed a little. I think it looks nicer. So anyways, just like that. Distress it a little bit. The edges and then once I get the arrows distressed enough, I don't want to go too far, but that's pretty good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to distress the edges too. I may have to go get my power sander, which make it much quicker. But for this, so that you can see the raw edge coming out, that's what I want. I kind of want that around the whole outside of it. And then I'll make sure I get the corners real good. I like it so. See, I just think it gives it a little more dimension. And it looks nicer. So, I'll go over all of the paint. Because I want to take that shininess off of the paint. So it's more matte. I'll just go over the whole piece. As I'm working my way around the corners. If I see any shine, I scrub it off. And ooh, look at that, I got a nice little stressing in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to continue to do that until I am happy with how it looks after I take off all the sheen. Well, I can't take it all off, it looks like, but I take a pretty good amount off. I like it so. So there, it's 
looking better already. Much more distressed. So I'll do the same thing all over and with all three of my arrows. And then I'll show you how I hang them. pretty good. Alright, looks like my first one is all done. I like how distressed it is. And then I was going to show you before, I forgot to show you, I put down a drop cloth because you get all these little flecks of paint and gunk. So when I'm all done with the project, I can just pick out the whole thing, go outside and shake the whole thing and then I have a nice, don't get my desk all dirty. So yeah. Alright, so and now I've got this one to go, and I'll start just dressing this one, and I will do the same thing all the way around. Alright, bye! Okay, I thought I'd show you how I hang my arrows. Now that they're all painted, I like to use, for little projects like these, these command strips. These ones hold up to 12 pounds. If you've never used these, these things are awesome. They look like this, if you can see the little tabs you pull them apart and they have like velcro they have like velcro together velcro on one side and then adhesive on the other so what I like to do is take the two pieces these are the picture hanging ones and velcro them together Just kind of squish them together so then they're one piece you can see I've got the two pieces and I'll take off one piece of the adhesive and place it on my project. Let it stick on there like that. Then when I'm ready to hang it on the wall, or I know where I want it on the wall, I'll just take off this other piece of, over the adhesive and stick it on the wall and seriously it stays. And it is awesome. So anyways, that's how I'm going to hang them. I'm going to do that to all of my arrows and then I'll figure out how I want to hang them on the wall. Alright, bye!